So I've seen people post this question around before, um, uh, of like what to do with locks. Like how, how do you deal with locks? Um, you know, for, for locks like this, especially on a coin door where you, you can't get to the, the, the physical backside of the lock itself, um, you don't really have much of an option except uh, to, to, to drill it. This one, uh, you can actually, uh, on the inside of this, uh, this, this is the parts red tent that I've got here. You can actually uh, kind of see the tab uh, where the, 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 the cam that's on the lock uh, spins around and actually it's kind of uh, exposed inside of the uh, inside of it. So just pulling out a, a, an extra lock I happen to have here. Um, so so drilling, drilling really is the only option here. So uh, just to give you kind of the anatomy of of a lock, not that it's it's not that it's a, it's terribly complicated things here, but um, essentially what you're doing is you're going to need to be drilling down through. Uh, you know, in this example, through the keyhole, um, down through all the tumblers and out the back. And essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to remove this, uh, this, this set screw here, which is what holds the cam on. So once, once that screw loses its ability to hold the cam, you know, the, 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 the cam will fall off uh, in, in, in some cases, and then, and then basically the lock isn't, isn't doing anything. That's really the, the, the business end of the lock. That's, that's what it, it's... Uh, what it's essentially doing in there. So, you know, if you can get to the inside of a cabinet, and this is poking out through the, the you know, like the back door of a cabinet, let's say, you know, you can reach up through the coin door or, or, or however you can actually get in there. Uh, you know, you could obviously just unscrew it, and then you got the same deal kind of done. But in a case like this, where you just cannot get to the back side of it, uh, your only choice, uh, like I said, is drilling. So, this is how I do it. Uh, again, may, there, there may be other ways, there may be better ways. Uh, but this way has always worked for me. So what I what I start with is a center punch, um, and and that's especially uh, I mean on, on these ones with the with the ones where you've got a, a key there, you can usually kind of guide the drill bit into the keyhole and kind of use that as your guide. But with these guys, since you don't have a keyhole, uh, you know these to, to go by, you really kind of need to use a center punch to start with. So uh, a center punch, if you don't know. Um, it's a spring-loaded uh, tool, and all it's got is a sharp, kind of sharpish kind of point at the end here. And when you when you de depress it, it pops, and that that creates basically a little indentation. Uh, and what that's going to do is that's going to help guide uh, my initial drill uh, drill bit into into the center of this tool. So so that way, otherwise, you know, you end up with the with a drill bit in here, and then it, it wants to like wander all over the place, and it can be kind of hard to keep steady. This just makes it easy as easy can be. So, uh, you know, just put the center punch in the middle, and then when you push it, it pops. Uh, and I, I usually actually like to follow it up with a couple couple more, just to try and, and dent the front of the lock, just, to, just enough to, to get a bit in there. So, uh, this is just a 3 32nd uh, bit, and uh, I just want to put it directly into the, the uh, little indentation you made. Uh, aim it uh, flat back with the, uh, the back side of the lock. And, uh, you know, go slow. This is just a pilot hole. Now you don't... You don't need to use a lot of pressure. You want to use a lot of pressure here. Uh, I mean, you got a good chance of snapping a bit um, if you if you do that, um, which should be gonna yeah, be that'd be a bummer. Um, so uh, you know, and, and you don't want to use your, your your favorite bits for this. I mean, you want to use some some bits that maybe you've got lying around for a while. Uh, you know, maybe aren't as as sharp as they once were. I mean, you are drilling into metal here. If you've, if you've got precision bits that you don't want to, you know, that that you use on. Uh, um, you know, wood and things like that that you, you really care about. You don't want to use those bits, so just use uh, use some junky bits. Hi. Hi. Can I open the door now? So yeah, a little brief interruption there. Sorry about that. So once you get the pilot hole drilled, 
Uh, you want to step up to just a slightly larger bit on the drill and then go ahead and center that up on the hole. Go slow to begin with. Careful when you're, uh, when you pull these bits out, the, um, they're going to be hot. Just clearing off some of the material that's building up on the tip. And with that, the cam is now off the back of that thing. Or at least enough out of the way. And then you get to find out what kind of treasure you got inside here. Looks like uh, about uh, $3.50 worth of quarters. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's a quick little uh, tutorial on drilling uh, these these flat face locks uh, that are on these Nintendo Red Tents. Uh, like I said, a little bit trickier than your usual uh, key lock, just because uh, they, you know, they're flat and they don't have it's you, you kind of got to like pilot a hole in there to to be able to open them up. Uh, normally, you can kind of jump in with a, a slightly larger bit uh, initially, and then uh, you'll still you'll still probably want to step it up slowly. Through them, that took a few more steps than uh, than I normally do. I, I do have quite a few more locks to drill out here. Unfortunately, I've got uh, another coin door on the other side of this one, and then the, uh, the 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 access panel here for the I think it's for the power supply. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this segment. <laughs> Thank you.